Hello, my beautiful friend. Thank you so much for turning up to another practice. My name's Sarah. If I haven't met you before, it is lovely to be here with you. I am the creator and mover behind Current Movement, and I upload two free yoga classes per week to YouTube. The first one in the week is a vinyasa style of class. We work up into a peak flow, a peak pose, which tends to be a little bit more challenging, uh, but it's a really great time to be curious about the body and connecting with the breath, connecting with the current moment. And the one that I upload a little bit later in the week tends to be a little bit slower, a bit more grounded and a little bit shorter as well. So just have a play with both and see which classes are attracting your energy at the moment. Today's class is going to be relatively short because we are uploading a full length version of this class to our Patreon account. We are working into our peak pose Ashta Vakrasana which is our eight angle pose and I love this pose so much. I think it's a really great arm balance to kind of begin your arm balance journey on as well as Kakasana which is our crow pose. Uh, it requires a bit of twist through the spine, length down the back of the hamstrings, engagement through the adductors, strength in the upper body, but it requires uh, a bit more stacking of the joints, which makes it a little bit easier so we're not completely holding ourselves with pure strength. Um, yeah, let's get started. We're going to start in a Baddha Konasana, so bring the soles of the feet together. Take the knees out wide, hands come to the insides of the ankles. Take a big breath in, find a little bit more length through the spine. And then as you exhale, can you find a hinge motion from the hips, drawing the heart space in the direction of the toes? Maybe the elbows come down and press some weight into the legs to start to open through the hips and the insides of the adductors. Try soften your head here, so relax the back of the neck by tucking the chin in slightly. It's going to open down the back a little bit more and kind of bring a little bit more release. We're not going to stay here for too long, but just for the moment, can we use this space, this asana posture as a way to check in. Check in with the energy, check in with the breath. And maybe you'd like to set an energetic intention for this practice. Something that you can start to feel that you need. Is there a certain quality, a certain value, uh, a certain way of moving, of being in this moment that you'd like to practice? And if nothing's really popping up for you at the moment, that's okay. Just let the practice come naturally to you. Maybe something will pop up along the way. We'll take about five more deep breaths here. So breathing in, filling up the back of the ribs, back of the heart with breath. Exhaling, finding a little bit more of a hinge, a little bit more of a drop through the upper body. Maybe even starting to practice your ujjayi pranayama. So the constriction of the back of the throat, which allows us to kind of bring some more attention to the present because it makes a sound allows us, our mind, to uh, attach it to that sound, keeping us in the present. One more deep breath in. Exhale, let go. Start to unravel yourself. Bring the feet out slightly. Hands come behind you. Breathe in. Lift tall through the spine. As you exhale, can you draw the right knee over towards the left? I'm going to find a tall spine here. You might even walk the hands in a little bit further. And then can you start to very gently twist your shoulders towards the right? So very subtle twist here, trying to keep length through the spine. You might even have both of your hands over more towards the left. 
big breath in. Exhale, lower through center. Let's try the other side. So stack the left knee on top of the right. Again, you might be turned more towards the right or if you feel okay, breathe in. Exhale, try to twist that left shoulder back. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe in. Exhale. Come back through center. I'm going to roll over our feet and come into a plank position. Now you can be on your knees or your toes here. Try to spread the fingertips wide. Hands are about shoulder width distance. Press the knuckles down. Lift the belly button towards the spine. We're going to find a few retractions and protractions of the shoulder blades. So what I mean by retracting is drawing the shoulder blades together, drawing the chest down but keeping the spine long, and then protracting is drawing away, pressing the shoulder blades away from each other. Take a big breath in at the top. Exhale, retract. Inhale, protract. So this is really important so that we can Find lift in our arm balance. We'll try this a few more times in our own time. Now at any point during our class today you feel the integrity of the core of the spine start to go, then please regress down a little bit, maybe bringing the knees down a bit so we can again maintain that integrity, keeping all of our joints and our muscles safe. Let's try two more breaths. Try to press away from the ground a little bit more. Find your way to the top. So protract the shoulder blades. This is where we want to meet. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, can you tap the right knee towards the right elbow? Inhale, come back through your high plank. Exhale, left knee towards left elbow. Oh, that's spicy. <laughs> Bring the foot back. Bring the knees down, all of us. We're going to try what's called a spider push-up. Take the right hand forward slightly and then as you bend the elbows, the left elbow comes by the ribs, right elbow comes out towards the side. Come back through center, breathe in. This time left hand steps forward slightly, exhale, right elbow comes in, left elbow comes out and come back in, breathe in. As you exhale, just full shataranga, come down to the belly. Take the fingertips wider than the mat, lift up the elbows, breathe in, roll through the spine, lift up tall through the chest. Exhale, left shoulder comes down, look over your right shoulder. Inhale, come through center, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, right shoulder comes down, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, come through center, squeeze and lift. Exhale, ripple the heart space down towards the ground. Hands by the ribs, press up onto the knees. Tuck onto the toes, lift the hips up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Maybe a little pedal out of the feet here feels good. You're dropping one heel down, dropping the other heel down. Pressing through the hands to try to create some length and space along the spine. Maybe you bring your eye gaze in between the feet here. So finding... Uh, a place where we can just see our gaze that's going to find a little bit more stillness on the inside. Let's walk to the top of the mat. Take a big breath in. Feet about hip width distance. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Shoulders pull down. Exhale, fold. We've got a little bit of a different lift. So start to twist the upper body towards the right. Scoop the hands across the ground. Breathe in. We're twisted towards the right. Exhale, bring the hands over the head, clasp the hands, the thumbs together, and then take a little back bend, side bend to the right. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, fold while keeping twisting towards the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down, step back to plank. We have the option here to practice our spider push-up, and as we do, we draw the elbow up. Okay, option just to... Um, stay on your hands, sorry, as to stay in your high plank. So if you want to try the push-up, right hand comes forward, breathe in. As you exhale, tap the right knee towards the right elbow. Inhale, come through center, set the left hand forward. Exhale, left elbow, knee comes towards the left elbow. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, full shataranga, come down to the ground. Elbows come out wide, breathe in and lift. Maybe lift the eye gaze, exhale, hands come down, hands by the ribs, press up onto the knees, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Breathe in, look forward, maybe you sit, maybe you bend your legs and hop in between the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale, fold again. We twist towards the left this time. Sweep the fingertips along the ground as you breathe in and lift. Clasp the thumbs together. Exhale, take a little side bend, back bend towards the left. Inhale, come back through centre, keep twisted. Exhale, fold. And then make your way through centre. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step back into your plank. Stay with the arms straight or inhale, step with the right foot, right hand forward. Exhale. Spider push up, inhale, come up. Left hand out this time, exhale. You can do this on the right knee as well. Come back through center, breathe in. Exhale. Full shut the dunga, both elbows by the ribs, hands come wide. Breathe in, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, lower yourself towards the ground, hands by the ribs. Option to tuck onto the toes and lift the knees off the ground this time as we push to high plank. Ooh. <laughs> Requires a lot of strength through the core. Use your next breath in, look forward, bend the legs. Maybe you hop forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold again, twist towards the right. This time we pick the right knee up at the same time. Breathe in. Clasp the hands together at the top of the thumbs. Exhale, find a little back bend. Inhale, come through center. Find length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Lift the belly high into the spine, hands down, step back into your plank. Inhale, right hand forward. Exhale, you can hit the left knee down here, or you pull the right knee up. Inhale, step back. Left hand forward, exhale. Inhale, both hands underneath the shoulders. Exhale, shut the lunga, come down to the belly. Inhale, find a ripple. Exhale, hands by the ribs, knees or toes. We push the high plank really strong through the core. Got spinal integrity. Let's try that one more time. Breathe in, look forward, step or hop in towards the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lead with the crown of the head, press away from the legs. Exhale, fold again. Turn towards the left as we pick up the left foot. Inhale. Knee stops at about hip height. Exhale, clasp the thumbs together, take a little back bend. Inhale, come through center. Keep the twist of the spine, land the foot. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step back. Last time, right hand comes forward, inhale. Exhale, take the right elbow out. Inhale, so we're waking up the chest as well as the triceps. Left hand comes out, exhale. Inhale, exhale, both elbows tuck in. Ooh, hands that come out, breathe in. Exhale, hands by the sides, press up onto your knees or tuck the toes, lift the knees off. Send yourself back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shunasana. Take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades away from each other protracting them here as well so we're not trying to um we're trying to make our, our shoulders really broad here we're coming into our main sequence here we're just going to repeat it once each side breathe in suit the right toes high three-legged dog exhale bend the knee bring the foot close towards the glute you might start to open the hips slightly but try to keep the right shoulder down breathe in maybe lift the right knee a little bit higher as you exhale, roll yourself forward, tap the right knee towards the left elbow. Start to take the, left, the right foot to the left side of the mat. Open the left hand high, fall in triangle, triangle. Breathe in, maybe the left hand reaches to the front of the mat. As you exhale, lower the hips towards the ground. Inhale, press through the right hand, strength of the core lifts the hips. Exhale, slow. Let's try it one more time. Inhale to lift. Lift the hips up high, exhale. Slightly different this time. Inhale, lift the hips. As you exhale, try to bring the elbow in the direction of the ground. I may not touch, that's okay. As you inhale, try to unravel the left hand and heart towards the sky. Almost a wild thing variation. Exhale, find a twist. Last time, breathe in. Exhale. Left hand comes down, tuck onto the left toes. Breathe in, three-legged dog. Keep the right leg straight this time. Exhale, roll forward, right knee to nose. 
set the right foot in between the hands, bend the left knee but hover it off the ground. Hands come through heart center. Shoulders down the spine, finding a lunge position here. Imagine like the, both legs were trying to slide towards each other. Breathe in here. Exhale, lengthen both legs, tap forward, Pajvottanasana, hands might sweep back. Shoulders down the spine. Inhale, bend the legs again. <laughs> and then as you exhale, this time lengthen both legs, but left hand comes around the outside of the shin, right hand comes up. So this is a variation of our Parivrita Trikonasana. Now you might have your left hand down on the ground or towards a block if you have one. Take one more breath. Find a little bit more length through the spine. Exhale, can you twist the left shoulder underneath a bit more? Start to rise, windmill the arms as you open towards the left. Keep spinning open, skandhasana to the back of the mat. Left knee bends, right leg is long. Breathe in. As you exhale, press out of the left foot, Vedra Bhadrasana too. Turn the left toes to the side of the mat, right toes towards the front, breathe in. Exhale, reach the right hand forward, drop into the hips a bit more. Maybe right elbow comes down to the ground, left elbow comes, or left hand comes up and over. If you felt like a little bit more, we have the option to bring the right hand behind the right foot. So usually we take it in front of uh, the foot. We're going to try behind. Draw the left shoulder back. Keep pressing weight into the left foot. One last option here if you wanted it. I know this is coming on pretty quickly, but left hand might come around the outside of the right foot. Shift the weight into the right hand and then see if you can press and lift the right foot almost towards the top left corner of your mat. You might even scoop the left shoulder so it's on top. Head comes through the gap. One more breath here, breathe in. Exhale, land the foot. <laughs> Both hands frame out the front foot, land the left knee down. Adha Hanumanasana, shift the hips back, right toes left. I know we came onto that pretty strongly, but remember this is a short class. We've got a longer class on our Patreon where we'll go into things with a little bit more depth. Breathe in, find a little bit more length. Exhale, shift the hips back. Walk the hands forward, bend the right leg, take it to the outside of the mat, tuck onto left toes, breathe in. Lift the back knee off, and then as you exhale, shift the weight forward, scoot the left knee towards the chest, and then start to kick the left heel out. Lower the hips down. We're gonna tuck our right foot in, and this is where we're going to prepare for our Ashtavakrasana. So the left leg, we wanna try to bring it up and over the shoulder. Okay. Now you can stay here and just even work on this position. If you felt like going for a little bit more, you're gonna start to shift the weight forward. The hand is, where is it gonna go? It's going to go behind the right calf. Hands are gonna spread wide on the mat. The bottom foot kind of hooks behind the top foot. You're gonna start to lift the hips off and then try kick your feet over towards the side. Elbows come in by the ribs. You dive the chest forward. And so it's the left elbow that is supporting the left thigh here. And then drop your hips down when you feel ready. Feel free to play with that more in your own time. Again, we've got lots more time on our longer video on Patreon. When you're ready, just come down. Maybe you shake out the wrists a bit. So as you can see, it requires quite a bit of opening through the back of the legs and strength of the arms. That is a fun one to play with. Okay, when we're ready, let's take a vinyasa and we'll make our way to the back of the mat, downward facing dog. Maybe you hop to find your way there. Any other variations along the way, you're more than welcome to find. So when you're ready, take a big breath in through the nose, press away from the hands, exhale, broaden the shoulder blades apart. Going to sweep the left toes high this time, breathe in. Exhale, bend to the left knee, bring the left foot close towards the glutes, drop the left shoulder down. Inhale here. Exhale, roll forward, left knee towards the right elbow. 
Start to kick the left heel towards the side of the mat. Drop the right heel down, right hand lifts, breathe in. And then as you exhale, start to lower the hips down towards the ground. If you need a variation here, left knee can come and be bent, more in a modified side plank. Breathe in, lift the hips, maybe the right hand reaches towards the front of the mat. Exhale to lower. Two more times, inhale, building lots of strength through the left wrist. Exhale. Inhale, press through both heels. Exhale. This time, inhale, lift. We're going to curl our right elbow as close as we can towards the ground, finding a big twisting action. Maybe the forearm even touches down. Inhale, start to open the heart towards the sky, reach the right hand forward. Exhale, twist. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, well done. Right hand touches down, tuck onto the right toes. Breathe in, sweep the left toes high. Three-legged dog, keep the left leg straight this time. Exhale, roll forward, left knee taps towards the nose. Set the left foot in between the hands. Bend the back knee so it's just to hover off the ground. Shoulders stack on top of the hips. Again, imagine like the inner of the legs are trying to pull towards each other here. Breathe in. Exhale, lengthen both legs, sweep the hands behind, Pajvottanasana, draw the left hip back, right hip forward. Inhale again, bend the back knee so it's just at a hover. As we exhale, lengthen the legs, right hand might come around the outside of the left shin, left hand might extend up long, right hand might also come down towards the ground, just depending on what you're feeling good with. Take a big breath in, find a little bit more length through the spine, push the hips back slightly. Exhale, draw the ribs towards the left side. We're gonna start to lift up, breathe and pivot towards the right side of the mat. Turn the right toes to the back. Exhale, Skandasana. Left leg is long, right knee is bent. Turn the left toes high. Breathe in, Vedabhadrasana too. Exhale, bend the left leg, reach the hands wide. Breathe in, shift the weight into that left foot, reach the left hand long. Exhale, left elbow comes down, right hand comes up and over. Keep the weight pressing back into the right foot as well. You can absolutely stay here if you wanted a little bit more. Left hand tries to come to the outside or behind the left foot. You could stay here. This is a very strong, big opening thing about draw the right hip away. If you want to try to find the bind, right, come, right hand comes around the outside of the left foot. Press weight into the left hand as you start to peel the left foot towards the front of the mat. Draw the right elbow high. Lift the hips, spread the legs as wide as you can, take a big breath in, Ooh. exhale, land the foot, bring the hands either side of the left foot, right knee comes down, breathe in, exhale, shift the hips back. Walk the hands back forward, take the left foot to the outside of the mat, tuck right toes, breathe in, exhale, start to press the right knee towards the chest. And then kick it out in front, drop the hips down. Okay, we get to play on this side as well. Draw the left foot in. So again, you might just be trying to get that right knee as high up, almost like a backpack over the shoulder. It's eventually gonna drop down towards the arm and the tricep, so don't stress if you can't get it up all the way. So right hand comes behind the left cuff to begin with, left hand comes out to the side, so we've got hands shoulder width distance. We're gonna hook the feet together. The left foot comes underneath, and then you start to lean yourself forward, lift the hips up, and then start to kick your feet away. So you're gripping through the fingertips, trying to lift away from the ground. You might even start to lift the eye gaze slightly towards the top of the mat. And then when you're ready, coming down. And when you play with it again, and you're maybe in your own practice, just see which foot works better for you, okay? So they're both going to find a class, but maybe it works, the other foot goes underneath. We're gonna stay down. <laughs> Begin to wind down, but just for the next moment, cross the legs, find a tall spine. And just check in. 
how that felt for you. Noticing where your attention may have floated to if it was quite present on the movements or if you notice it fly <laughs> away off your mat. And all we want to try and do is encourage it to come back rather than being like, this is what you need to do and kind of, you know, torturing yourself because you're not there today. Whereas we know when we give ourselves space to be in whatever experience that we're having, maybe that's a busy mind, maybe that's a, a heart that is being pulled in different directions, just being kind and considerate to ourselves wherever we are. Let's start to open the eyes, extend the left leg out in front. I'm going to open the hips towards the side. We're only going to have one or two asanas up here before we wind down. Right foot. We're going to bring it kind of behind us, almost like a skandhasana position. Left hand, let's bring it around the right ankle. Start to lean yourself over towards the left, ideally trying to um, bring the left shoulder in the direction in front of the left thigh and then maybe your right hand comes up and over so this is a big side bend for the body now you might be with the right foot in working more of a Janushasana Parivrita which is our evolved head to knee pose okay this is quite intense for the hips and maybe the inner of the legs with this variation and if you're feeling pretty open maybe the right hand binds onto the left foot take a big breath in as you exhale, can you pull that right shoulder back a little bit more? Maybe the right knee presses towards the back of the mat. Let's take two more breaths here. Letting the breath slow down. And then when you're ready, just coming back up through center. I'm going to try that on the other side. So walk the right foot out in front, bring the left foot again to the side. Hips are kind of facing towards the side here. Again, you might have the left foot onto the right inner thigh, or maybe you have it up. Right hand comes around the left ankle. Try to breathe in, lift tall. As you exhale, keep the spine revolved to the left as you may reach the left hand in the direction of your right toes. Keep flexing the right foot back, so you're pressing the heel away. You might feel this down the left side of the body, maybe in the left hip, maybe along the right hamstring, the adductor, the inner of the leg. Let's try one more breath here, breathing in. Exhale, maybe revolving and deepening this asana a bit more. Roll yourself up through standing or through seated. Bring both of the legs forward. We're going to take a big breath in, find a little bit more length through the spine. Exhale, try to keep the length of the lower back as you start to lean yourself forward. So lean forward with the lower back and then the mid back then the upper back, and then the crown of the head. This is our Pashimottanasana, stretch of the east, sorry, stretch of the west. Try to find a little bit more depth, a little bit more heaviness through the upper body here. So this asana is great for letting us let go a little bit more, letting gravity do the thing. <laughs> One more big breath in. Maybe even lifting and lengthening. Exhale. I'm going to roll onto our backs just for our final moments of our practice. If there are any asanas that you'd like to take on along the way, maybe another twist, maybe something else, feel free to find it. Otherwise, let's land with our eyes closed in a position that feels comfortable. 
And it's important that we take the time at the end of our practice to kind of integrate all the learnings that, you know, this short practice has allowed us to tap into. Can we try and find a bit more heaviness through the body? Letting the eyes soften, the eyebrows soften. Letting our attention fall on our breath for the final moment or so. If you have the time, I would so highly encourage you that you just pause the video for another minute or so to be here in your Shavasana. If you're ready to come out with me, we we'll just slowly make some movements, transitioning into a seated position. Keeping the eyes closed. Maybe bring the hands through heart center. Taking a big breath in, feeling that difference of breath of maybe you can breathe a little bit deeper, maybe you feel a little bit more present. As you exhale, let's bow our heads in gratitude of turning up for this practice of yoga, for exploring and challenging our bodies and kind of finding interesting ways to, yeah, explore. I thank you so much for practicing with me today. And if you really enjoyed this video, then let me know in the comments below. I would love it if you could share it with a friend, give it a like. And if you wanted to support me more directly, then Patreon is such a great option for that. So just like I said at the beginning of the video, there will be a longer form version of this class, which will be able to go into the asana in a lot more depth, as well as practicing some other fun, fun um, balances, such as Titabhasana, which is our firefly pose, which I know you guys love. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, it would mean the world to me. I'll see you there. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Namaste.